just like that, my bag is packed. It took me 45 minutes to pack all my stuff and put it in the bag. I was uh, saying to myself, oh, you know, put this here and put that there. And then all of a sudden I'm like, there's not even a portage. I just have to paddle five kilometers to Wasaxina. So um, I ended up packing it perfectly anyways and everything fit. Um, I just have the bug shelter up. As I said, I was going to leave that up. It's quarter after two. So I have a salami wrap. I just cut it in half so it would fit in my barrel. Um, got some cashews and some chocolate. And uh, I'm going to sit here and eat my lunch for the next little bit and wait for the weather. And uh, the wind is still gusting, but still no rain. So um, I'm going to wait until like, I don't know, until the wind dies down, I guess. And then I'm going to take off to uh, Wasaxina. I'm super happy now. I mean, it is a canoe trip. I should be tripping. I don't want to be sitting here all day. I'm just bored out of my tree. So I'm excited to get on the water and check out my next campsite. The sun has been out more and more frequently, but the wind is also getting a lot stronger. So I'm just sitting here waiting. <laughs> well, that's 3.20. The water has calmed down quite a bit. The wind is still gusting a lot though. Um, it has died down a little, but it's still gusting pretty good. So um, I'm just laying here in the bug shelter, resting, having a little nap. I got a little tired, I don't know from what, maybe too much sleep. And uh, I'll keep checking on it. And when this uh, seems safe to go, I will take off. Well, I got the canoe flipped and untied. I brought my food barrel bag down. I was just about to start taking the bug shelter down. And uh, I noticed these big black nasty clouds coming through. So um, I'm gonna wait still just a bit. Well, it's quarter after four now. I've been waiting for two hours and uh, the wind has definitely died down. It's still gusting a little bit here and there, but the sky, I mean, the clouds are coming this way. The clouds are breaking up quite a bit. There's still dark clouds there, but all of them that have come through haven't posed any threat or any problems. I think I'm gonna head out. Woohoo! Uh, it's 4.30 and I'm finally on the water. It was a little bit tricky getting the boat uh, in because that put in at the campsite is really awkward. And as soon as I put the boat in, it just started taking off on me. But uh, I managed, because I've done this a few times before. So I'm now on my way to Wasaxina. Happy, happy girl. Hopefully it doesn't start thundering and lightning. I've got like an hour to paddle-ish, depending on the wind. It's five kilometers to get to the lake from here. And then there's two campsites in on the left side towards the next lake that uh, I may or may not be heading to tomorrow. We'll see. Um, so that might add an extra one or two kilometers. So probably paddling between five and seven K right now. And that's it. No portaging, nothing. So. Hopefully, I make it before the bang, bang, clap, clap, flash, flash, and I can get set up and everything uh, before the thunder and lightning starts later. I'm so excited to be going down this channel. I have been staring at this passageway since yesterday when I got to the campsite, just wondering what's down here. And... Uh, so cool to be able to get through here and, and look and see. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> There's no wind here at all. I'm sure when I get into uh, Wasaxina though, it's a big lake. So compared to what the one I was on, it's probably like 10 or 15 times the size. <laughs> but I'm gonna be sticking to the left shore and uh, going left towards Grophy. The wind has been gusting pretty good, especially in a couple of spots, and um, I've been digging in pretty hard. I haven't been able to film anything because it's just not safe for me to stop paddling. <laughs> um, but again, it's not a far paddle, so if my arms are dead by the end, that's okay because I don't have to get on to another lake. So. <sighs> just had a little break there in the wind, so I thought I'd stop and film for a second. getting into 
into uh, a little bit more open water here. And uh, wind is still gusting pretty good. I got a couple rollers here and there, but it's not too bad. Um, I found it a lot harder in the little channel there. There was some corners that I went around and thought I was going to get blown away. So I can handle this. Plus, I'm almost there. crazy paddling. The start of uh, Wasexina was insane. Rollers, white caps, so windy, so wavy. Boat was going smash, smash, smash on the water. And uh, I'm glad to be out of that now. It's still windy here, but I'm about maybe 400 or 500 meters from the campsite. The first one, I'm obviously going to try to paddle to the second one because that's how I am, and it's in like really small water, um, which I like. And uh, it is also on the way to where I'm heading tomorrow because I think I'm going to do the whole loop now. I don't want to go back that way from where I just came. I don't. I don't want to see Wasixina again for a while. Um, it was just angry. I don't. I don't like big angry lakes like that. <laughs> well, the good news is that I'm on my way to the second campsite. The bad news is that the first campsite didn't exist. Um, let me explain. So, I plan all my trips on the gigantic Friends of Tomogamy map. Um, it's awesome, but it's huge. And um, I obviously can't take it with me. So, what I generally do when I'm trip planning is I take pictures of that map and then I print them out. Um, I wasn't able to do that obviously because I'm supposed to be on the Twinkle Lake Loop right now which I have the proper maps for. Um, because I don't have the map with me obviously I don't carry it around it's huge. Um, I have a Jeff's map on my phone for Tomogamy. It's very old. Jeff's map is no longer in existence. Uh, Jeff has created Unlostified. It's a great company, great maps. Uh, they don't have one out of Tomogamy yet. But uh, it's an older Jeff's map, and it's on my phone. And basically, um, I just use that when I'm in a pinch or I'm out here or whatever. So yesterday it showed a campsite on Driftwood that didn't exist. Today it showed a campsite here that didn't exist. If this campsite doesn't exist, the next one that I'm looking for, um, I have to paddle like a kilometer back to the mouth of the Angry Lake and then paddle around um, an island to where it shows there's a campsite there and I'm assuming that one is there but I don't know either. So um, it's a little bit tricky and uh, hopefully I will find the site and it'll be there and it'll be lovely and all will be well. So fingers crossed. Now to answer your next question you might say well it's crown land so you can camp anywhere. Well if you look at Tomogamy <laughs> This is just the area I'm in at the moment. There isn't really anywhere here that you can just camp. Um, you can, but there's nothing suitable. It's just bush, really thick bush. So that's the answer to that question. Because I, I get that asked a lot. Well, I see ahead what looks like it could be the campsite. I think it is, and it looks like a campsite. So. That's a huge sense of relief. Um, I'm going to make my way there. It is calm as anything here right now. First I had a tailwind when I came in and then the wind just died and now of course the bugs are buzzing around me. I'm gonna figure out how to get up here and uh, prepare for the bugs. <laughs> well, I found a decent place to land and it actually wasn't too bad to get up. It's actually a little easier than the campsite I was at yesterday. And uh, the site doesn't look as bad as I originally thought it was. There's tons of firewood um, everywhere. <laughs> and uh, obviously nobody's used this site in quite some time. Uh, so there's the fire pit. There's a bench, two benches someone made. Well, a bench and a log. Nice view of the lake. And you think, oh no, where am I going to put my tent, right? But... If you walk back from the front room, <laughs> mm. 
there's a nice area here. It's fairly open-ish. And there's a nice flat spot right there for my tent. The only problem is I keep hearing this moaning sound and I just realized that it's this tree. And the wind blows and it kind of groans and moans like it's gonna fall over. But it's so dark here, but it's not. There we go. All right, and then uh, I haven't even been over here. Someone chopped up a bunch of wood. The tree fell, obviously. So some more firewood. Obviously, I don't need that much. I don't even know if I'm gonna have a fire. Probably have a small one just because I can now, but it depends on the weather. It's supposed to start raining and thundering and lightning at nine. Haha. Uh -huh. And here's the other side. Oh, nothing fancy, but it's an actual campsite. And there's a flat spot for my tent. And there's another tree that's going down. So, my goals have been met. I'm pretty sure there isn't a privy here, but I'll take a look. But uh, I have my shovel, I can make my own. All right, it's 6.30, I've got to get moving. I keep picking up wood because there's so much and it's like just a habit, but I need to get my tent set up. I need to set up the bug shelter if I'm gonna do that. And I need to cook some dinner ASAP. Um, I think I'm going to have the uh, morel mushroom pasta tonight. It's uh, easy to make and delicious. And uh, I'm gonna get set up It's 6.30. My goal is to be done and starting dinner by 7.30, so. We'll see if I can make it. Well, 15 minutes later, I have my tent up, my thermo rest blown up, my pillow blown up, my sleeping bag and all my clothes in there. And uh, that took no time at all. I've been racing right now because uh, that storm that has not came all day is starting to come and I can feel it already starting to get really damp out. So I'm trying to get the uh, shelter set up so I have a place to cook. Um, I was gonna do it inside there by the tent which is probably safer because it's more sheltered but I really would like to watch the storm so um, I'm gonna set it up right here and not have a fire well the goal was 7 30 it's 7 13 I got the bug shelter up it's a little haphazard but it will definitely do and um, got everything set up to make dinner in there just need to go get some water from the lake and the tent is set up with everything ready so whew, I wasn't gonna set up the bug shelter, I wasn't gonna bother, but just because I need to cook and I don't wanna sit in the pouring rain and cook, um, it only takes like 10 minutes to set it up, especially when it's already all, it was, I left it all together, the mesh and everything together. Otherwise I would have just set up the tarp and used it. Oh, it's pretty gloomy looking for 7.30 at night, but uh, I'm prepared now, so I feel much better. I'm off the water, thankfully, and uh, got this lovely shelter I'm going to sit in and um, hang out. I'm actually burning up. I'm so hot. I've been boiling hot since I started paddling, so it's going to be nice to just sit down and cook dinner and relax for a few minutes and eat, and uh, I'll probably just sit here for a few, few, uh, few hours and watch the storm if I do get one, and then uh, I'll head to bed early. So. Let's see what happens. I came down to get some water and I almost stepped on this little guy. He just hopped away from me. I guess it's frog day today. Sorry, froggy. All right, well, it is 7.30 and I am here ready to make my dinner. The rain has just started. It's on the tarp, just hitting the tarp. And uh, I just heard thunder. So um, it did finally happen, but not anywhere near where it was supposed to. That's okay, at least, uh, you know, I made it safely somewhere and I'm sheltered and I'm good to go. So I'm happy about that. I'm about to make dinner. I am making morel mushroom pasta today and uh, it's gonna be delicious. I have some morel mushrooms in here um, that I picked earlier in the season when they were um, out and I dehydrated them. Don't, that's not me farting, that's the tree behind me. And yes, it's freaking me out. I wanna finish making this and like get in my tent as fast as possible. Anyways, um, I put some water in here so they're rehydrating and they're plumped up nicely. And uh, here I have three nests of angel hair pasta. Super easy. And then I brought some butter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook the pasta in some water. Um, I'm 
going to use uh, just just as much as I need. I'm going to pour the rest of this in a cup just in case I need more water somewhere else so I don't have to go down to the lake in the rain. But um, I'm going to use just as much as I think I need to cook the pasta so I don't have much to drain. And then um, I will switch to this and I will melt a whole bunch of butter in here and saute the moral mushrooms for about five to seven minutes. Uh, I think you have to do them for a minimum of five to get rid of the toxicity. Look that up. Don't take my word for it. Um, I don't want anyone to get poisoned and die. Um, saute the butter with the morels, and then I'm going to add some um, roasted garlic powder, some roasted garlic flakes, and some salt, and mix the pasta in that's already been cooked first. And that's it. I'm going to eat it. It's going to be delicious. Super easy, super simple, but very, very tasty. All right, so I'm going to go do all that, and I'll check back with you in a bit. Just drop the noodles in there. <laughs> I know they'll all fit. They look like they won't, but they'll all fit eventually. So these noodles only take like three minutes to cook, and that's why I love them so much. And yes, it is storming out. Not too bad yet. There was some thunder, but it was pretty far away, and I haven't heard it again. But I'm sure I will again, because it's supposed to storm all night. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye on this. cheese is gonna work probably be good with some Parmesan or Romano um, I just don't have any the little grocery store where I live they don't really have like fancy cheeses and stuff like that and um, I wasn't gonna make a special outing during pandemic you know where I've been grocery shopping every two or three weeks um, just to get you know cheese for a special pasta for camping so I didn't bother but I'm sure this cheese will still give it a little bit of something to mix it in so it melts a little. I've already turned the heat off. I don't want the noodles to get stuck to the bottom. All right, there's the finished product. I'm sure it tastes delicious. I'm not going to do my normal filming and tasting. I'm just going to eat because I'm hungry. It's like almost eight o'clock and uh, sitting here in a thunderstorm. Just stopped raining actually again, but it's supposed to start up again and it's supposed to thunder and lightning all night. So we'll see what happens. I know I said I wasn't gonna film me eating it, but it's so good. Like it's so good. I, I just, it's delicious. I just wanted you to know how good it was. It's so good. Yum. Mmm. Bye. Well, I'm sitting here in my bug shelter with my Lucy light. I love this thing. It's so bright. This is like the low setting too. Um, I didn't even charge it today. It's been in the tent all day, so. Uh, crazy day. I left my campsite at 4.30. Uh, took an hour and a half to get here in some crazy, crazy winds and waves and stuff. Um, I haven't been on water that rough in a while. I think it was Manitou in uh, my North Two Loop that I was on some wind, like on a lake uh, with some big wind like that. But um, anyways, I ate my dinner. It was yummy. I've um, just been sitting here doing some stuff. I actually have a signal here. Two bars. I had one, like a really weak signal on driftwood, and I was amazed by that. I could do a few things. I can't do everything, but, um, you know, depending what time it is, like at 5 in the morning, I could check the weather, which was great. Um, but it's been misleading. Like right now, it says that it's 37 kilometer wind gusts. It's totally dead here. There's no wind at all. Um, tomorrow, the entire day is supposed to be like starting at midnight. It's supposed to be between 40 and 50 kilometer wind gusts the entire day and night. So I don't know if I'm going to be leaving here tomorrow. My plan is to go to uh, Ardal, I think is the name of the lake. Um, I think there's a six, two 65 meter portages and a 400 meter portage and a 100 meter portage or something like that. Um, I think it's like seven or 800, 900 meters, something like that. 
Um, and I thought, okay, I'll go there. And then the next morning I'll get up and I'll just go through Wilson and Hedridge, I think it is, back through to Iceland and back out to my car. Because I have a signal, I can get the forecast and I can see the wind gusts. Usually I just play it by ear. I get up really early and if it's calm, I go. And I go until I can't go anymore. And if I have to stop, then I stop. Which I should have done today because the weather was decent most of the day. It didn't get windy until the afternoon. But because there was that thunder and lightning um, in the forecast, I just said, well, I better not go anywhere. And it would have almost been better if I didn't know the weather and I would have just went because it didn't do anything until like 7.30 at night. So anyways, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna sit here for a little while longer. I'm uh, listening to an audio book because I can. And uh, then I'll probably go in my tent and read a little bit. And uh, I'm not tired yet, so I'll probably stay up for a bit. I'm not sure if you can hear this. It sounds like it's raining in the bug shelter, but it's actually bugs. <laughs> they get in between the tarp and the mesh because of the light and they just like bounce back and forth off of it. I don't know what they do, but it's funny.